celebration of Latin heritage. We're proud to bring it to you here at 2K Sports. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson with Ali LaForce joining us courtside. And let's check out a breakdown looking at some stats for Daniel Gafford. And a promising trend this month has been a rise in his effective field goal percentage. He's doing a great job with his shot selection and that is helping his team with their efficiency numbers. So the opening lineup for the Mavericks. Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. P.J. Washington out there with Derrick Jones. And it's Gafford in at the five. And for the Rockets, Van Vliet and Green man the backcourt. Thompson out there with Dylan Brooks. And it's Smith in at the center position. All right, Richard, what's your take on the back-to-backs in the NBA? Are you for it or against it? Look, I think you should limit some of them, but back-to-backs are a part of what this game is. It's the battle of your mind over your body. It's been going on since the start of the league. Why are we going to try and make it easier now? Now here's Thompson. From 18 feet away, Gafford grabs the miss. And Dallas with possession. They just couldn't come out on top. Last time they took on the Rockets, that one was in Houston. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That was their undoing. And a lot of that begins with effort. Putting in the work and closing out possession should make this a much more contested game. Irving. And the jumper is good at the free throw line. I love seeing Irving's work in the mid-range. Intelligent at reading the defense and recognizing when to take these shots. Now here's Van Vliet. Playing Utah, he was nearly unstoppable. Thompson against Jones. Smith with a screen on Jones. Four on the clock. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. And the luxury of having Van Vliet. He doesn't need the ball to score. Fred can work off the rock and be a spot-up shooter. On the wing, Irving. You know, when you think about Kyrie Irving's game, his ball handling is what still comes to mind for Yeah, you know, B.A., that and his killer instinct. Kyrie is one of the most creative players we've ever seen. A guy you can count on to come through in big moments. First one falls. And Richard, this summer, the Rockets hitting fast forward on their rebuild, signing some key veterans. Headlined by all-star point guard Fred Van Fleet. He was a coveted free agent. Listen, with their upcoming draft pick not under their control, I think the front office figured may as well go after wins now. Both free throws good from Irving. Thinking back to one of the most fun runs in the NBA, Grant, those early 2000 Mavs teams. Oh, I played against those teams, and they were incredible offensively. Of course, you had Steve Rash running the point, Dirk and Finley on the wings, and the pace they played with, they were well ahead of their time. Doncic, no good. The Rockets have gone one for three so far. Van Vliet, the pass to Smith. And here is Thompson. Let's it go from deep. Gafford grabs the miss. Slow start. One of four to begin this game. Throws it up high. Thompson. 
Robinson with a steal. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. And lead against Doncic. Doncic grabs the miss. One for five out there, but no worries. Just keep attacking. Washington finds Irving. Doncic outside. Fires the three. Another miss. He's 0 for 2 now. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Brooks the pass to Thompson. Here's Smith. The shot misses. Nice D from Gafford. And here's Doncic. He'll bring it up for Dallas. They put up a nice win against Sacramento last time out. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. Now here's Van Vliet. A go-to option for this team. He puts up nearly 17 a game. Here's Thompson. Lays it up and banks it in. You see there, Thompson does a good job of sneaking into the lane and finishing. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Ooh, he's looking comfortable now. Three for three. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Now here's Van Vliet. Six to shoot. Smith passes to Green. Late clock. Houston's got to hurry. And there's Smith. That one's good on the assist by Green. What a tough take there by Smith. That takes serious body control. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Green against Irving. Washington, a screen on Green. Here's Irving. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Irving's got 11 points. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Van Vliet finds Thompson. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. And that kind of rejection early on energizes your squad. The coaching staff just loves this kind of hustle. So it's the Rockets now. Trailing by four. And that one's good for Brooks. A sometimes underrated playmaker. Green showing good patience and vision. Irving, the pass to Doncic. The drive by Irving. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. He's got 13. That makes him five for five so far. Could be a big night in store. Van Vliet, the pass to Smith. Out to Thompson. Brooks outside. Pass to Thompson. Van Vliet outside. Another three from Houston. Already an intelligent playmaker, Thompson moves the ball well for a rookie. For Dallas, they've got five of seven shots to fall. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Gafford with a screen on green. And again, Kyrie Irving. When it comes to the offensive end on the floor, there is one guy you can count on, and that's Kyrie Irving. He knows how to find shots and make an impact on that end of the floor. Down low. And it's blocked by Irving. Shoots. Another one falls for Dallas. He's lighting him up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. Timeout call. Houston. With this break in the action, let's take a look at the NBA's highest scoring team since the All-Star break. Fifth best, Dallas. 
Since the All-Star break, this squad has been on fire on offense, looking like a well-oiled machine and taking and making high percentage shots. The Rockets trail. Van Vliet scanning the floor. Brooks the pass to Thompson. Pass to Brooks. Now here's Green. Clock at six. Shoots. The Rockets with another miss. For Dallas, they've gone seven of nine. A solid percentage so far. Irving, the pass to Doncic. Back to Irving. It's stolen by Green. On the break! Smith finds Green. Back to Smith. Pass to Van Vliet. Doncic pulls down the board. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Here's Irving. Doncic outside for three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Smith with it. Now Doncic defending. Van Vliet against Doncic. Pass to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer, Brooks. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists now in this one. Doncic outside. Back to Irving. Gafford with a screen on Green. Here's Irving. Ooh, basket interference. Landale's checked in for Green. For Houston, they've got 6 of 14 in so far. Doncic against Van Vliet. To the inside. Pass to Landale. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Heads up play by Smith. Giving it away instead of forcing something. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for the Mavericks. They trail by one. Put back. It's deflected. Washington outside. Sinks the trade. DJ. All eyes on Luka. The defense forgot the about his teammates. Called. Now a timeout called by Houston. Checked in for Brooks. And Holiday subbed in for Thompson. And Dallas also making a switch. Hardaway's checked in for Jones. Houston has gone four or five from distance here in the first quarter. Holiday passes to Landale. Puts up the eight-footer, and he drops that one in. Landale's got his second basket. Oh, nice feed. On time and on target. Doncic outside. That one rolls around and rims out. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. Well, Grant, the Rockets finished at the bottom of the Western Conference for three straight seasons and got some high draft picks as a result. And B.A., no one likes losing, but Houston has to be happy with the talented young prospects they've been able to select. It'll be interesting to watch their growth as individuals and as a team. So it's the Mavericks now, following the score by Houston. There's a screen. Just five to shoot. 
Dallas needs to get off a shot. Fires from way outside. It's rebounded by Houston. Smith's got four rebounds now. Pass to Landale. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Rockets. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And following off of what you said, they've really done a good job distributing the ball, passing up good shots for great ones. And the free throw, no good. One thing you can count on with this Mavericks team, they shoot threes. All night long if you let them. I mean, near the top of the league for attempts beyond the arc. They do it every chance they can get. And that's how you lead a team, literally. Grant, your first year in the league, 1995, the Houston Rockets were NBA champs. Oh, B.A., I mean, Hakeem the Dream made facing that team a nightmare. He was everywhere defensively, long and quick on his feet. That 95 Houston team was incredible. And that one misses. And Doncic is a walking triple-double threat. His versatility and confidence is really special. Tate. Good D by Hardaway. And they've come out with a fearless approach on the boards. Green against Smith. Two minutes remaining. Doncic outside. Two minutes. Floats one up, and the shot goes. Luka. Yeah, Doncic has no problem getting physical. Whatever he has to do to score, he gets it done. Holiday finds Van Vliet. Landale with a screen. Let's it go. And there's Van Vliet on the assist by Holiday. Van Vliet's got eight. The Mavericks trailing. One twenty-four left to play in the first. Here's Hardaway. Again, the Mavericks good for two more. You've got to appreciate the consistency. Night in and night out, he brings it. Doncic against Van Vliet. Outside Tate. Holiday taking his time here. It's tipped. Doncic on the wing. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Six points for him. At about 230 pounds, Doncic is a low down low. Here's Van Vliet. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Coming out hot. Four out of five. This could be a big game for him. Doncic against Van Vliet. Outside, green. 20 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Fires in the triple. And he's made his mark on offense especially. they got to be thankful he's on their squad. Van Vliet against Doncic. Here's Van Vliet. There's the triple. He can't get it to go. Kyrie Irving has been on display for the Dallas Mavericks. What a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. More 2K action in just a moment.
it's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Well, it's simple. When you can dominate the boards at both ends, you can control the second chance touches. In rebounding numbers, sometimes we overlook them, but they can have a big effect on the outcome. Green is the two with Tate at the three. Green out there with Jock Landale. And it's Holiday in at the point. That's the five for Houston right now. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. After the trade for Kyrie Irving, the Mavericks offense went to another level. Coach Jason Kidd said, quote, we're still going to preach defense, but on the offensive end, there's going to be nights where we're scoring 130 or 140. Kai gives us another weapon. Someone is going to be free. Someone is going to have the advantage. Brian? Oh, nice stuff. Thank you, Allie. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Rockets. Inside, here's Landale, and he jams it after taking the nice feed on the run. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Irving against Holiday. Pass to Tate, and looks like an illegal pick was set. That gets the ref's attention. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. you got to focus on the details. Dallas has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Outside Hardaway. Irving against Holiday. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Rockets. All NBA players play with confidence. But, RJ, surely there are some that play with too much confidence. Well, look, there's always a guy who doesn't realize he's being left open for a reason. Some players just don't understand their role of their team. Usually there's a vet that needs to tell them how it is. Now here's Green. He had 34 points in the win against Utah. That's just so soft. Green just trickled that one in. Irving against Holiday. Irving with it. 17 points in the game. The three. They get it again. Pass to Green. Outside Irving. Over Holiday. And he takes that one up and powers it through. <laughs> and when the game is this close, you have to go all out. He certainly understands his role, huh? When the shot goes up, just crashes the offensive glass. He's just giving them everything he has. It's why his teammates appreciate and enjoy playing with him. And, yep, it's good. Tate's got his first two points. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Now Hardaway. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Blocked! And it's out of bounds to the Mavericks as Dallas retains possession. Dylan Brooks checked in for Houston. Thompson comes in for Holiday. Outside Irving. Let's go with a three. Good. And that basket makes him eight for 14 for the game. When you play with stars like LeBron, Harden, KD, look, Kyrie has learned how to operate off the ball. Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. <laughs> you do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few possessions. Now here's Irving. 20 points for him. Puts up a three. That one's good from Green. And the assist by Irving. Green's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Thompson in the post. Defended by Hardaway. And again, it's Houston. Came up dry offensively in the first, but looks like he's ready to turn it around. 
Richard, taking a look at Jalen Green's career so far, he's certainly not bashful shooting the ball. No, and I think it's because his coaches and teammates want him to be confident, B.A., because once he gets a few to fall, man, this man becomes very dangerous. Here's Thompson. The Mavs get their last shot to go. To the middle. Here's Landale. Tipped. Out to Thompson. No good from outside. The Mavericks leading. To the paint. Here's Lively. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. The Rockets have gotten an impressive six of eight shots to fall in the second. And it's Brooks missing. The Mavericks have gotten five of their first 11 shots to fall here in the second quarter. For three, Hardaway. Another three for Dallas. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Green with the ball. Irving picks him up. The Rockets with another miss. And so it's Irving who brings up the ball for Dallas. Five-point lead, biggest of the game. Pass to Hardaway. They set the pick. This one for three. The shot, no good. Houston has gotten five of their nine attempts from deep to go. Hardaway against Brooks. Green with a screen on Hardaway. Brooks, the pass to Green. And it's hammered home by Green. While he's a bit undersized for a four, he more than makes up for it with his balance. Pass to Prosper. Hardaway against Thompson. They get it back. Irving. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Not his best efficiency this quarter. Look, sometimes that's how it goes. Green against Thompson. Over Green. Thompson shot is off. Dallas has gone three of six from outside in the second quarter. Hardaway, the pass to Irving. Back to Hardaway. Inside is Lively. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. Tim Hardaway. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. Now here's Green. Six points for him. Landale, a pass to Thompson. Brooks left side. Let's it fly from 18. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got five assists in the game. The Mavericks have gotten seven of 16 shots to go in the second. Pass to Lively. Irving with it. Green covering. From the wing. And they pick up two. Irving's got 24 points. And this right here, this is routine for Kyrie. You're going to have to make him work a little bit harder because his jumper is as consistent as it gets. Now here's Brooks. Give him eight. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Timeout on the floor. Mavericks. Smith comes in for Landale, and Fred Van Vliet is subbed in for Green. Dallas has gone 6 for 12 from deep so far in this game. Who poked away. Stolen by Thompson. Got it. Two for five now. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Now here's Doncic. 
He's got nine to the inside. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. First team foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Mavericks? They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. You also have to commend them for their fearless attitude offensively. They've been productive when driving to the basket. And so it's Houston with it. Four-point game. They defeated Utah in their last game. Hey, they had to fight for it. But a win like that can give your team a morale boost. The kick out to Van Vliet. Pass to Green. On the wing, Thompson. There's the three. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Doncic has got his fourth rebound in this one. And they doubled up Doncic. And here's Jones. Doncic with it. Fires the three. They grab their own miss. Yep, that one goes. And now it's a six-point Maverick lead. Those are some hustle points. Really bonus points when you put in a miss. Pass to Smith. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Nope, four for seven now. Dallas has gone three for seven from the perimeter during the second quarter. Jones finds Hardaway. Gafford with a screen on Thompson. The three, Hardaway, counted from distance. Hardaway Hardaway's got six here in the quarter. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. Green with a screen on Doncic. Here's Van Vliet. Oh, no good again that time. On the wing, Jones. Brooks defending. Doncic against Van Vliet. Now here's Doncic. Luka. Defense is right there. Good. That's his fifth bucket in nine attempts. Oh, Luca is so skilled at using his body to create good looks inside. Timeout called. The Rockets. Checked in for the Rockets. Irving's checked in for the Mavericks. One more time. And here are the top shooters at the point guard position in this year's freshman class. Fifth on the list, Luka Doncic. It's really simple. As a point guard, it's your job to create good shots for others. These guys also are great at creating shots for themselves. Yeah, and when you can shoot it like he can't, why not? Just the threat of their shooting makes them more effective at this point. Now here's Van Vliet. Ten points for him. Out to Thompson. Clock at four. For three, Smith sinks it from distance. Smith's got seven points in the game. When you're all those seven feet like Smith, you have the luxury of just being able to shoot over there. Two minutes. Doncic on the wing, guarded by Van Vliet. With the tip, controls the rebound and the putback. Gafford's got seven now in this quarter. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Jones against Thompson. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Well, Grant, Ahmed Thompson is proof there are more routes than ever to get to the league. I mean, yeah, I mean, he and his twin brother, Asar, coming through overtime elite. A different path, but both high lottery picks, and it worked out for them both. That free throw is good from Thompson. They're not the strongest part of Thompson's game, but he continues to work in the gym to improve. Both free throws good from Thompson. 
Minute 32 left in the second period. Doncic against Van Vliet. Pass to Washington. Washington, a screen on green. Irving for three. The shot no good. And Brooks has got the ball here for Houston. Trailing by eight. Here's Green. The Rockets again can't hit. Dallas has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. And it's Irving missing. Houston has gone 2 of 6 from distance here in the second quarter. Pass to Van Vliet from the arc. Washington grabs the miss. And after connecting twice from deep in the first quarter, he hasn't been able to drain another here in the second. And that one's good. Irving. Irving. This man is a three-level scorer. And this level, by the rim, there is nobody like Kyrie Irving in that touch he has. Now here's Thompson. He had an 18-point outing in their last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. And a big part of that was his aggressiveness, drawing contact, and getting to the line. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. And for the young Jabari Smith Jr., he's still finding his footing here in the league. Yeah, no one said playing in the NBA was easy. I don't care what pick you're on. Smith has big expectations on his shoulders, Grant, but I think he's done a pretty good job so far. What's up? Look, Jabari Smith has the physical tools and skill set. That's a tough combination to be a solid two-way player in this league. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Irving, no good. He's cold from distance here in the second quarter. He may want to try a different approach moving forward. Van Vliet against Doncic. Now here's Van Vliet. He's guarded closely. The three is up. That one is off. And so it's Dallas closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Getting lots of great looks. Shooting it well. That's why they're up. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Valley, as always, thank you. We'll be right back to begin the third quarter right after this. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet and the Big Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. How about we start out with the Western Conference and uh, how those teams are stacking up? A look here now at the Mavericks. They haven't quite looked like themselves lately. The question is, how do they get back to the top? How do they recapture that magic? I think it starts with raising the intensity level. Become more aggressive. Night after night. Fight after fight. Aggressive is right. Moving on. In that first half of basketball, things are looking pretty good for the Mavericks. You could just look at their rebounding differential. These guys are giving everything that they have. They are taking no possessions off, which is rare these days. We got to thought they were the better club coming in. They certainly proved that, at least so far. And that's it for halftime. Thank you for joining us. We send you back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He's been everywhere. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. And on the floor for Jason Kidd as we get into the second half, Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Daniel Gafford is out there with Washington, and it's Jones in at the three spot. And they've committed to controlling the boards, and it's paying dividends. 
lead with a screen on Irving. And here's Green from the arc. Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got four rebounds in the game. Doncic passes to Washington. Here's Gafford. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Gives us a chance to catch up with Allie LaForce. Josh Green is becoming a key 3 and D wing in Dallas. Mass legend Dirk Kavitsky said, quote, he's a great defender already. He's athletic. He plays super, super hard. And now he added a three-pointer to his game. Obviously, that's one thing he needed to get better at. He puts in a lot of work. Brian? Well, you can see it. It is absolutely paid off. Thanks, Allie. Oh, man, you want to talk about taking flight? That's exactly what he did, making it look effortless. Van Vliet finds Green. Thompson scanning the floor. Brooks from outside. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. Brooks has got 13. Yeah, I know the guys love to see Brooks get in a groove like this. It gets the whole team fired up. Pass to Gafford. Now here's Jones. Here's Gafford. The three from Washington. Nails it from beyond the arc. Washington's got his second basket of the game. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Now here's Thompson. Give him eight points now. And again, it's Houston. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Outside Irving. And the lamp is good off the glass. Irving's got four points now in the quarter. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Knocks it loose. Pass to Van Vliet. Now, here's Green. The three ball. Another three from Houston. For Jalen Green to be an all-star level guy, he's got to knock down those threes. Outside Irving. Softly drops in the floater. Irving's got 32 points in the game. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Van Vliet finds Smith. Back to Van Vliet. Smith outside. Outside. Green. And the Rockets hit again from deep. And the defense is really allowing him too much room on the perimeter. Just over three and a half minutes through the third. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Gafford up top. Outside Jones. Pass to Gafford. Now Doncic, guarded by Van Vliet. Let's the three fly. And the Mavericks, another three. And look at Luka now getting aggressive at the arc. He was eager to answer that last three. Van Vliet outside. Out to Thompson. Three-pointer. Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got a rebound number five here tonight. Irving, the pass to Doncic. That three's off the mark. And so Thompson will bring it up for the Rockets. It's a 10-point game. Pass to Van Vliet. Back to Brooks. Smith against Washington. Here's Thompson. And the slam dunk by Thompson. You know, inside is where Thompson excels. And the concentration allowing him to finish there. Outside Irving. With the teardrop. Count that one. Kyrie. Irving's got 34 points. Ooh, he's on a bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed one this quarter yet. Houston timeout, calls timeout. timeout. Call. Protecting timeout. the rim has to be their Guardian. top objective right now. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D.
look at the leaderboard to see who has been racking up the most steals in the second half of the season. Fifth is Fred Van Vliet. You try to avoid a defender like him. Since the break, he's been picking everyone's pockets. Passes to Van Vliet. Back to Thompson. Smith outside. Shot clock at six. On the wing, Thompson. Defended by Jones. It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. And let's be honest, guys, rebounding is about want. And he is playing with 110% effort. Doncic finds Gafford to the middle. And here's Smith. He's got 10. Pass to Green. Back to Smith. You do not want to foul Smith in the action. Bari is an excellent foul. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Mavericks? Ooh, they've been punishing the inside defense consistently in this one. Look, it's been a very productive area of the floor for them. Yeah, all throughout the game, the opposition hasn't been able to keep them off the glass, and they're paying for it, giving up second-chance points. First one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. The Mavericks have gotten 8 of 11 shots to go in. Efficient so far in the third. Doncic passes to Irving. Van Vliet against Doncic. Over Van Vliet. Doncic, no good. The Rockets have gone 6 for 9 in the half. Brooks finds Van Vliet. Smith with it. Pass to Thompson. Brooks outside. Out to Thompson. Over Jones. And there's Thompson on the assist by Brooks. Brooks has got four assists in the game. That was a disgusting first half he turned in, but it's been night and day for him after the break. Doncic passes to Irving. Now here's Gafford, covered by Smith. Pass to Gafford. Over to the left wing. Doncic outside. Rebound by Van Vliet. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Rockets. They trail by six. Smith outside. Over Gafford. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Gafford. Daniel Gafford picks one up. Make no mistake, at 6'11", Smith Jr. can be a handful inside. That's why he gets in the foul line quite a bit. Jamari Smith, two shots. And the first one at the line is good. All right, the Rockets making a switch here. Landale's checked in. Green's checked in for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Kyrie Irving. And he makes both free throws. And they've done well from the free throw line this half. No misses yet. Dallas has gone two for five from three since halftime. Green with a screen on Van Vliet. 
And here's Doncic outside. The Luka three. Money. He knocked one deep ball in the first half, but you start to get the feeling he's finding his rhythm out there now. Brooks against Green. Now here's Brooks. He's covered closely. Can't connect from short range. There wasn't a lot of resistance there at that rim. He just he just tricked off a little bunny. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. for Dallas. Daniel Gafford. One shot. Free throw good from Gafford. Grant, you had an incredible career. Two-time college champ, seven-time All-Star. But tell me where owner ranks in your career resume. You know, B.A., it's very fascinating. The, the main reason I wanted to open the door for other ex-players to get equity in teams, I do believe ownership groups should involve ex-players and listen to us. You know, and I think that is where the league is ultimately headed. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Now here's Smith. 14 points for him. Pass to Landale. Puts it up. With nobody on him. He buries that jumper. Landale's got 10 points in the game. Dallas has got three of six threes to fall in the third quarter. Green, the pass to Doncic. Luka, get off me! Their interior D continues to look shaky. Not a good matchup for them right now. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Landale. And here is Thompson from behind the arc. Count it. That's his seventh basket of the game in 14 tries. A confident shot from Ahmed. I mean, when he trusts his J, Thompson is that much more difficult to check. Now, here's Green. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Brooks outside. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Landale. Thompson outside. Six to shoot. Brooks with it. And Gafford with the block. Oh, there's the alley. Van Vliet right side. Here's Landale. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Gafford. And the dunk by Gafford. Get him the ball anywhere close to the hoop. That thing is over. Houston has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. Four of six. Landale with a screen. Here's Brooks. Nice D from Gafford. Despite the defensive presence, he challenges at the rim. Give him an A for effort. Green, the pass to Jones. Outside for Green. Pass to Hardaway. Shoots over Thompson. Another one falls for Dallas. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Landale with a screen. 16 feet out. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. Such a reliable mid-range shooter. Brooks doesn't hesitate when he sees an opportunity to rise up from there. Pass to Doncic. Now Jones. The three. Rockets with a rebound. Smith's got nine rebounds now. Here's Van Vliet, guarded by Doncic. Here's Landale. Thompson outside. A 
and over Hardaway. Thompson, no good. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for the Mavs. Launches it. And again for three. And for this franchise now, he's hit the most threes in a single season. His incredible range stretches out the defense on a nightly basis. It's an invaluable element to this offense. Kyrie Irving has played for Dallas. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. All right, let's listen in. Head coach Jason Kidd is mic'd up. Good D, good pull. Understand something. One shot, one rebound, and let's go. We take care of the ball, get good shots, and get back on defense. Keep talking. Efficiency, fundamentals. That's what I'm hearing from Jason Kidd. Yeah, there's a toughness to the way they're playing right now, and they're communicating as well. That's what coach wants to keep seeing. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Green is the two with Tate at the three. Green out there with Jock Landale. And it's Holiday in at point guard. That's the five for Houston right now. Now here's Gafford. Guarded closely. Pass to Irving. Driving to the basket. The shot's good. Irving's got 36 points. Irving has such a high IQ, including knowing exactly when to drive. Green against Hardaway. Oh, Green with a strong take. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. And it only makes sense to give him the rock again. He put the team on his back all game. Yeah, just keep feeding him. That guy is a man on a mission. And the defense, well, they don't have much of an answer. And it's Green missing. And he's usually able to score on that type of defense rather easily. Surprising to see him come away empty. Outside, Green. Off target from outside. Yeah, and the defense really respects his shooting ability. And they showed it with that tight coverage. Gafford against Green. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. What's new? Green takes the hit, completes the play. Goes to the line looking for one more. That's their first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for your Rockets, Chila Green. One shot. The Mavericks have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Exum passes to Irving. Down low. And he makes no mistake. Slam dunk. Yeah, such a creative playmaker. Love seeing Irving find the open teammate and make the right pass. Green with a screen on Hardaway. Got a piece of it. Washington with the ball. Green picks him up. Pass to Exum. Got a piece of it. against Washington. Outside, Green. And it's Green punching it home. And one of Green's best attributes is that he doesn't really see contact. He will either go over it or through it. Irving against Holiday. And the shot's good by Irving. 
Irving's got six in the quarter. His big night continues. He is fueling this lead. On the attack, Green. Washington grabs the miss. Washington's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Irving. Oh, not wasting any time and taking the shot and hitting it. Irving's got 42 in the game. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. A strong finish to cut into that lead a little. And left no doubt with that one, Grant. Here's Irving. That one a little long. The Rockets have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. And here's Green from the arc. Got a hand on it. Hardaway with it. Guarded now by Holiday. Hardaway shot is good. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. And they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. And finished off by Tate. And one move ahead of the defense. A solid pick. And then the monster dunk to complete the play. Well done. Oh, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Irving, a screen on green. Washington outside. Irving against Holiday. Irving, the pass to Lively. Here's the break. Pass to Green. Here's Landale. Wide open look. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Lively's got six rebounds now in the game. Hardaway finds Washington. That shot missing. Excellent D there from Tate. And it's Green with the ball for the Rockets. Nine-point game. Now here's Holiday. Outside, Green. Drills it from deep. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stop down the stretch. Because that's who's going to come away with this one. Pass to Exum. Outside Irving. Tries the nine-footer. Here's Lively. And count it. Now five for seven. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. And it's Green missing. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. Here's Irving. Holiday grabs the miss. Houston has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Outside, Green. Misses the three. For Dallas, they've gotten seven to go out of 13 attempts during the fourth. Here's Irving. And he hits the jump Irving, shot. Irving. Irving's got 18 points in just the second half. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Hardaway against Green. In close. Green puts it in. Coach has to be pleased with what Green is doing out there, playing with a ton of energy on the offensive end. Time called here. The Mavericks decide to talk it over. They have been pretty disgusting offensively. Too many miscues. They've got to get to the bottom of it. for a different look here. Smith, he's checked in for Landale. Dylan Brooks comes in for Green. Thompson, he's checked in for Tate. And Van Vliet is subbed in for Holiday. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. Well, Coach is thrilled with their three-point shooting, saying in the huddle, guys, let's keep it up. Continue to shoot it from deep. It's working. They've been on fire from distance so far. All right, appreciate it, Allie. And finding his teammate in stride, he led his guy perfectly. Here's 
Vince Van Vliet. And Cafford with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Here's Van Vliet. Brooks outside. Beyond the arc. Good. And Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist in this one. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. Doncic passes to Irving. One of the most creative guards that we have ever seen. Irving is just so unpredictable with the ball in his hands. First team foul. The line for the Mavericks, Kyrie Irving, taking two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Free throws good from Irving. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. And here are the Rockets now. They trail by nine. Smith outside. Hardaway against Thompson. Left side, Green. It's rebounded by Dallas. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Shot is up. Doncic shot is good. Doncic has got 15 points in just the second half. And how about the handles Luka has? Phenomenal at creating scoring opportunities for himself. A nice shot by Smith. That's just smart basketball right there. Finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. Doncic against Van Vliet. Doncic left side. From downtown, knocks down the triple. Doncic has got 29 points. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. Green, the pass to Smith. With the drive. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Right, that was a grown man played there by Smith Jr. Not slowing down because the defense is closing in. You just got to get more aggressive. Corey Houston. Jabari Smith. Two shots. That free throw, no good. That one's no good. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Doncic passes to Kleba. Hardaway with a screen on Thompson. Gafford finds Irving. Clock at six. And it's Dallas scoring again. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Timeout call. Houston. And there's nothing more frustrating for a coach than seeing his team giving up a bunch of second chance points. That's going to be the main topic during this timeout. Here they come.
Thompson passes to Green. Brooks outside. Doncic against Van Vliet. To the paint. Here's Smith. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got his fifth assist in this one. The Mavericks shooting the ball at 60%. An excellent average. Van Vliet against Doncic. Oh, Doncic unfazed by the defense. And when he puts it all together, look at the kind of night Luka can have. Wow. Van Vliet against Doncic. Two minutes remaining in the game. Van Vliet, the pass to Green. Brooks outside. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. Doncic pulls down the board. Doncic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Green against Irving. Gafford with a screen on Green. And it's Irving off the drive. Out of bounds. It'll be Rockets ball. Houston ball. And Van Vliet has got the ball here for the Rockets. It's a 14-point game. Outside for Green. Hardaway comes with a double. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Hits the trifecta. And this is what Van Vliet is known for. A volume three-point gunner who shoots it well. Dallas has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Pass to Irving. And got it! Another basket! My goodness, 50 for the game. Just putting on a show. Barring a miracle comeback, this one is wrapped up. They were able to control the tempo and flow of the game, and it will end in a victory for the Mavericks. They were the more accurate club, and in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, love the execution. And looking at their record now, tonight's win gives them 45 on the year. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Kyrie Irving. And he was getting buckets all night long, giving the defense that work. Doncic passes to Kleba. Hardaway with a screen on Brooks. Gafford finds Irving. There's the drive. And good! There's another! <laughs> That's 52 points for him. Making it all look too easy right now. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Van Vliet, the pass to Thompson. Oh, and the jam by Thompson! Unfortunately for them, they're still going to come up short. You wish they'd shown this kind of fight earlier. Too little, too late. That final score will look way closer than how this game actually played out. Here's Irving. And so Dallas takes this one by a big margin. The game. Exceptional the effort on the road. They were ready and they oh, were we focused. Like focused you. indeed. I mean, it takes a strong Please mental approach to block out the distractions. So you again, These guys stepped up 100%. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively. It makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.